So a week ago, I posted a video talking about how Nate Diaz kind of exposed Jake Paul about his plans in fighting MMA in 2025. Just to refresh your memory, he tweeted out, this effort talking like he wants to fight. I'm ready to fight tonight. This B ain't ready till 2025. To which a few days after that, he tweets out again, I'm good. I'd rather fight real fighters and never backtrack to the minor leagues. P word FL, talking about the PFL, fight yourself dipshit. So clearly, Nate, I, like I said, Nate Diaz, it don't matter. He's not fighting in the PFL. The guy only wants to fight in the UFC. But that isn't what we are going to be talking about in this video. And oh my goodness, the topic of this video is absolutely insane. And this is criminal. This should not be legal. But former heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder was asked about a fight with Nate Diaz. <laughs> Y'all need to check this out. Some people tonight, you know what I mean? I'm let me throw, let me throw a name at you, uh, you that I'm hearing. Like, uh, this guy wants to fight boxers, Nate Diaz. Okay, we got to cancel. What happened? Nate Diaz. Would you be down to... Almost to, definitely. Nate, be down to, me up, bro. You be down to get in the MMA I'll cage be, with, with Nate Diaz? I'll be down to get in there with Nate for sure. You think you could take him in the cage? Man, we going to see you. All right. only one way to find out. Ain't no way. Number one, why is this guy even <laughs> asking a heavyweight fighter about a guy who naturally fights at 155? Yeah, he was fighting at 170 because Nate Diaz don't care. He don't want to cut weight no more. He's really just fighting for the paycheck, to be honest. You know, he don't care about the titles or none of that. So why would this guy <laughs> ask Deontay Wilder about a natural 155 pound fighter how does that make any sense and then of course Deontay Wilder entertains it what is going on he entertained a fight against Nate Diaz in the octagon I can't believe this shit man I cannot believe this so then of course you Nate Diaz saw this and he responded he says, let's get these contracts written up ASAP. Real fight shit. Respect to a real fighter down to fight for real. All love the boxing, but this is a different real. Shit, let's fucking go. 1993 with the gi and the black belt emoji. <laughs> what is this world coming to, man, bro? This whole influencer boxing stuff just completely fucked everything. What are we talking about? Why is this a video? Why is this a topic? It's hard enough to even picture boxers starting up like big time, big name boxers who have made multi, multi millions of dollars coming and choosing to go into fight MMA. That alone is, you know, unfathomable. No, I wouldn't have thought that ever in a million years. Now we are talking about a heavyweight champion. One of the greatest, the greatest in my opinion, the greatest knockout artist of all time. Taking on a guy <laughs> probably around, close to 100 pounds smaller than him in the octagon. What is happening? All, all I would say to this, man, is any athletic commission that were to put this fight on, bruh, they should be investigated because this would be criminal. This would be worse than when they let a 60-year-old Evander Holyfield fight a juiced-up TRT Vitor Belfort, in which, of course, Vitor Belfort knocked Holyfield out. You know, Holyfield's 60 freaking years old. How the hell, who the hell let a six-year-old guy get in there in the first place? Regardless of who the hell he is, the guy's 60 years old, and they let him in there with not, not another older guy or older, older, much older fighter, a much younger guy. And... You know, a guy juiced up. So what? <laughs> that alone was criminal, but this would be so much worse. I'm telling you guys, this would be so much freaking worse. Any athletic commission who even entertains the thought of putting this fight together should be investigated because they should be caring about these fighters. Any athletic commission who even thinks about doing this shit, they don't care about these fighters. They just want a paycheck <laughs> because... <laughs> Bro, this is too wild. Man, I, I've never said this before. I've never looked down on it or never thought about it like this. But man, hey, maybe all the influencer and the celebrities and the crossover boxing, whatever you want to call it, 
Maybe that is messing up these combat sports because now we're getting these ridiculous ass fight suggestions as a now fighting journalist, analyst, whatever you want to call it, as I report these things. If Deontay Wilder was in front of me and Deontay was considering doing MMA, as we all know, he's been training at the, the UFC Apex over in Las Vegas a lot. So of course, he's around a lot of these MMA fighters. So, of course, he, he might get the little itch. The guy's a, a competitor, man. He's a competitor. Of course, he might get the itch to put on those four-ounce gloves just to see what that power looks like, knowing that he's the greatest knockout artist of all time with 10 ounces on. So, imagine that power with those little-ass four ounces on. So, of course, he's going to, you know, it, it, that ego is going to get reignited, and he's going to want to see, you know, what's that power going to look like with these little-ass gloves. So... I don't blame him for wanting to dabble a little bit in MMA. As a competitor, I kind of expect it with him being around all these MMA fighters in the gym. But to even bring up the question, Nate Diaz has been wanting to fight a boxer. What do you think about fighting Nate Diaz? That alone, this guy, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't even know, bro. Either this guy's the most creative mind ever. And, you know, because this is going viral. So maybe, you know, he gets a raise or something because making a viral moment that probably earned whatever company he's working for a lot of money, getting a lot of attention, a lot of eyes. Or should he be fired just for bringing this up and asking this type of question? Because who in their right mind thinks, all right, yeah, Deontay Wilder, you know, he's down to fight MMA. What's the first name? I'm going to say Nate Diaz. It just absolutely blows my mind. That this is even a topic, this is even a conversation, that this guy even thought in his brain, yes, this is the guy that I'm going to bring up to Deontay Wilder. Not another heavyweight guy, or maybe Alex Pajeda, you know what I mean? Very, very popular guy now with some really good, scary type of knockout power. Or maybe Sergey Pavlovich, maybe, I don't know, Some call out any other knockout artist that may be around Deontay Wilder's weight. Instead, you bring up a guy who's documented to, yeah, has a good ground game, but doesn't really use it because he doesn't ever take guys down. He'd rather just get beaten up on the feet and, you know, should be fighting at 155 pounds, whereas Deontay Wilder is a heavyweight. You know, I think at the end of the day, this is all just fun and games. This is just entertainment. You know, I think Deontay is just entertaining it a little bit for the camera and for the fans. I don't think this fight will ever truly go down. Nate Diaz, though, I don't know if Nate Diaz is that type of character to really bullshit. I think Nate Diaz is kind of serious. Deontay Wilder might be joking a little bit, but Nate Diaz might be dead ass serious. But I'm telling y'all, man, this is a bad move, bro. If any commission even thinks about doing this, it is straight up criminal and it's a disgrace. But I don't know. Maybe some of you guys want to see this fight. Feel free to let me know in the comments what the hell y'all think about this. And as you can hear, I can't even stop laughing. The more I fucking think about it, I just can't even stop laughing. That's how ridiculous this is. But as always, I appreciate you all so much for the support. And I'll catch you in the next video.